Hello everybody and welcome to Geek Domo. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a really awesome program I found a few weeks ago called Cody. Cody is formerly known as XBMC and according to their website it is the award-winning free and open source GPL software media center for playing videos, music, pictures, games, and more. It allows users to play and view most videos, music, podcasts, and other digital media files from local network storage, media, and the internets. Okay, so Domo, why are you showing me this? It's just another media player, right? Well, actually, no. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing what it can do. Um, so first off, what this video is going to do is we're going to walk you through setting Cody up, and we'll talk about why it's so awesome as we do that. And then I'll have another video which will help you tweak it to make it even more powerful. So this first video is just about getting it set up with the base stuff. What you're going to want to do is go to Cody.tv. That's where you find it at. As of today, December 7th, Cody is currently in Beta 3 Jarvis. So that's the one we're going to get. All you got to do is go here to download Cody. Scroll down the page. This top one is for 15.2 Isengard, which is pretty outdated already. So Isengard is done. I wouldn't bother messing around installing any Isengard. I would go with just the more recent one, which is down here, Jarvis. If you're going to be installing it on Windows, this is what you want to do. There are other options out there for Kodi. You can install it on Raspberry Pi. There's a guide for that. You could also install it on your Android phone or your Apple phone or an Android set-top box. And you can do that over here. This is, I have two set-top boxes. We'll talk a little bit about those in a later video. But what we want to do is we want to get, for this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you the Windows installer. If you have a computer attached to your television set, then this one will be fine for you. Or if you like to watch TV at your work or whatever, this one will be great for you as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this beta installer. It starts to download. Say yep. Keep it. It's about 80 megabytes. Now let's go ahead and install it. This is a fresh install on my computer. I've not had Cody on here at all yet. So we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and go through it. Yes, I agree. Of course, everything. Put it on whatever drive you want. Hit install and go. It does not have any malware or anything like that on it. You're fine. All right, now what we're going to do is run Cody and finish. And here we go. Yes, we will allow access, of course. This is it. Welcome to Cody. Cody by itself is pretty plain. It doesn't do much. It's what happens with the add-ons that we're going to show you now. The reason we installed Jarvis is that Jarvis comes with something built into it that used to take an extra step, and we don't have to do that step anymore. Let's do it right now. All we do is we go to Programs, Add-on Installer. It already has Add-on Installer built into it, which before you used to have to install separately, and now it's built into Jarvis, which is fantastic. Let's go through some of the add-ons that we should grab, and then you'll start to see the power of the Kodi. So what we want to get are video add-ons. And there'll be some adult ones in here. You get those if you would like. But the ones that I'm going to recommend are the next page. We're going to get easy advanced settings. And this one has nothing to do with video add-ons, but it shows up in the video add-on section. I don't know why, but we're going to get this and I'll show you why later. Go ahead and click on this add-on installer. Yep. Install. Okay. Back up. The next thing that we're going to get is Genesis. This is a super popular add-on for Cody. Grab that one, install, yep. Doesn't take very long. All right, back it up. Grab Gorilla Streams. Gorilla Streams is great. It has live football, as in, you know, world football, not American football. Different sports, different kinds of fun stuff that you can watch live. So Gorilla Streams is good. Next one is Ice Films. Actually, Navi's good. Paramount Vault is really great. This one is a YouTube channel that Paramount has put out, and all the videos stream from YouTube, and they're because YouTube has such high bandwidth, they all look great, and they're and they're free, so you can grab them. Okay, then if you have Play on Play on's great too, because uh, Play on is a program you can get for your computer that will integrate your media library say like you've already downloaded 50,000 movies and you have it all in your media library you want to use play on because play on will integrate here with Cody really well now we've come to the one that we're gonna be using in a later video called stream all the sources and it's 
awesome. Stream all the sources, how it works is it'll grab all the sources. So instead of some of the other ones like Genesis maybe only has maybe 20 different sources it uses, all of the different sources out there on the internet for a particular movie. And because of that, you have a better chance that your video will actually play. So this is the one we're going to use, most likely. Install it. Okay, now we've added on all of the add-ons that we want to add into the program. I'm going to go System, Settings, and we're going to go to Appearance, and we're going to go to Skin, and then Skin Settings. And here on the home page, the add-on shortcuts, this is what we want to add on. So add-on number one, we're going to make that stream all the sources. Add on number two, we can make that one Genesis. All right, add on number three, let's make that. Let's make that one YouTube. Add on number four, we can make that one. Gorilla Streams. Add on number five, we're going to make that actually not an add on for video, but our easy advanced settings add on. We're going to use that in a later video. Okay, and that's all we need to do. Close that down, close that down, close that down. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna come here and go to videos and all the add-ons that we've added on will be right here as submenus. Now remember, this thing is built for use with a remote control. Sometimes it works better with a keyboard on Windows because you can just use your up, down, left, right arrow keys and easily get to things actually a little faster than you can with your mouse. All right, so let's come in here and I will show you just how powerful Cody is. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna look at stream all the sources. It is going to ask you to authorize with salt, but that's stream all the sources. Do not bother with this right now. We're gonna do this later. So we're just gonna go no thanks. We're actually not gonna authorize with track. Say no. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can find out there. We're not going to watch any of them because this video will be on YouTube, but I'll show it to you anyway. First thing we're gonna do is come in here and go to movies. And let's look at popular movies. This is a list of all the popular movies that you could watch. You can go to trending movies. You can also go to television shows. So we can look for TV shows, popular TV shows. All right, everybody. So I think that is a good introduction to Cody, how to get it started, how to get it set up. The next video, I'm going to show you one of the ways to get premium servers listed on your server list. And that video I think will be really helpful and it's cheap. We're talking like three bucks a month. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Stay tuned for that next video. It'll be coming up very soon until next time. See ya!